There's an order called the Talmaska, and like I said, they followed the Mayfair witches from the beginning. They're so uh, obsessed and interested, and that's what they do. That's all they do. They are strictly with the Mayfair witches. And in Queen of the Dam, she deals with the origin. It also deals with the origin of the vampires. Um, and, of course, she's the mother of all vampires. She began as a pre-Egyptian queen. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's a bloodthirsty, invisible spirit known as Amel, who um, harasses the two witches. And it just goes into some of the, how she became the mother of all vampires. So... That's how that one goes. And then we go into Tale of the Body Thief, where a, a spirit wants to enter um, Lestat. To, he wants to be mortal, basically. And that was an interesting story in itself. If you have not read Men Mock the Devil, another good I love these books. Um, I, I'm with you, Lori. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have goals in it. She had some good ones. Uh, <laughs> I'll just be a goddess to all the women. Okay, get right on that. Um, I I just absolutely, absolutely loved that, that movie. And while I'm thinking about it, and before we go into some of the other books, I think I'll might play some of the music from uh, Queen of the Damned. I, I really, really, I thought Peter Townsend, did a wonderful job um, playing Lestat. A lot of people were like, nah. And of course, with uh, Interview with the Vampire, oh, come on, Tom Cruise did an awesome job. He was amazing. Um, I I just thought he did such a good job. And Claudia, the little girl vampire. Oh, my gosh. Uh I just, I, I love that they didn't overdo her. I mean, but, you know, she was she was dying. Her mother had died. So they gave her the dark gift. So Claudia was like this little girl forever. She didn't understand it at first. But, and then she grew to resent it. So I'm going to play a few tunes from uh, Queen of the Damned. Let me find the one I want where she wakes up. Yeah. Here we go. There comes a time for every vampire when the idea of eternity becomes momentarily unbearable. Living in the shadows, feeding in the darkness with only your own company to keep rots into a solitary hollow existence. Immortality seems like a good idea, until you realize you're going to spend it alone. So I went to sleep, hoping that the sounds of the passing eras would fade out and a sort of death might happen. But as I lay there, the world didn't sound like the place I had left, but something different. Better. It became worthwhile to rise again as new gods were born and worshipped. Night and day, they were never alone. I would become one of them.
Whether it was that first meal or the hundred years of rest, I'm not sure. But suddenly I was feeling better than ever. My senses so high, they led me straight to the instrument of my resurrection. Playing in my old house. Hell are you, man? The question provoked an irresistible urge. I am the vampire Lestat. It just rolled out of my mouth. With one simple sentence, I had betrayed everything about my kind. Betrayed our code of secrecy. <laughs> vampire. <laughs> That's funny. Indeed. Hilarious. You're all so beautiful. Your hands cold as death. Whoa. Whoa. You're gonna kill us? No. All that you've ever dreamed of, I'm going to make yours. This is your lucky day. It was a bold move, I admit. But from that moment on, they were my friends, my children, my band. Giving the world a new god. Me. I'm over it! You see? Take my 